Today we're going to try and repair this DSL wireless router, also called a gateway. This particular one is a two wire 2701HG-B and this particular one here was given to me by a family member. They said just one day it just stopped working. None of the lights would come on, they'd unplug it, plug it back in, just completely dead. So we'll open it up, we'll have a look. Um, first, you know, we're going to take a look at the power block here. If you, there's no power, I mean, the first question is, is this thing bad or not? And according to the output, it's supposed to output 5.1 volts. So we'll go ahead and plug it in, check it with a multimeter, make sure this is putting out power. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the output here. And if I plug in, you can see we're getting 5.2 volts, very steady. And it was supposed to output 5.1 volts, so I'm going to call the power supply good. That's a nice steady voltage, a little higher than what it's rated to. So I don't think the problem is the power supply. The problem should be in here somewhere, so let's go ahead and open that up. So this is what the inside of the router looks like. There's no obvious problems. All the capacitors check out fine and you don't see anything that's particularly blown or damaged. So I started to probe around checking voltages. Back here is where the power plug is and something interesting happened. I was checking some voltage readings and this little surface mount resistor right here just popped off the board just probing it. And it shouldn't be so loose that it comes off like that just by probing it with a meter. So I'm going to solder that back on. I'm going to check some other components, see if there are any other loose solder joints, but it could be as simple as just cracked or loose solder joints. So I got that little surface mount resistor soldered back on and it helped in so much as current was able to flow a little bit further and I was able to get some voltage readings on the various uh, voltage regulators. I was expecting one of them to be wrong, but they all check out and I've probed around now for like an hour on different components trying to find the problem on here. Check both sides of the circuit board and I don't see where the fault is here. So I'm guessing it's probably maybe inside the CPU or some other component like that. Basically something that's not going to be repairable. So given the fact that this thing's old and not even really worth anything I'm just going to call it off on this, and unfortunately this repair is going to be a failure, but it's at least interesting to take them apart, see how they tick on the inside. Thanks for watching!